know, the middleweights are always a fun weight class. They're like big and athletic. Both these guys are some big 85ers. This is actually Tyson Williams' first time actually fighting at 185. He had a few catch weights, I think one at 195, one at 200, and he's also fought at 205. Both guys 3 0 coming into this fight. How do you feel about the uh, new way they're weighing in? As far as that, is that a little bit better for the fighters or? For what, the early morning weigh-ins? Yes, or, sir. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, I would, you know, doing it the day before is already great. Doing it as early as possible the day before, it gives you even more time to recover. But uh, the 1FC, you know, kind of fight at your regular weight, in theory it's a good idea, but from what I hear, the guys still cut some weight, so they're just coming in bigger than they only would. I don't think there's an issue with the current problem. I think there's an issue with fighters not making logical choices to fight in the, in the, in the most... You know, appeasing weight class for their for their body. You know, Tyson's a big guy, but he, he made 85 with, you know, he just he did it by the books, and it was an average weight, and he did a good job, and he'll be big for the weight class. And his opponent here in Sean Robertson, he's got a one, one unanimous decision win in his last fight against a guy who was 4-0. And then his two fights before that, he won both by finish, by strikes. You know, Tyson's a good guy. He's got a lot of experience in the cage. He's got uh, two decisions and one finish. And, you know, those decisions are good. As an amateur, it gets you that cage time. You know, this fight's going to be five rounds. You need all the cage time you can get to prepare for this. Tyson's got Travis Took in his corner. Jose Lanius to black belts out of Team Cooks. Travis Took actually just got his fourth degree on his black belt today. And for those who don't know, that's 14 years as a black belt. That is a long time. Travis, one of the best grapplers in Houston. So we got Matt Wald, my striking instructor, pad holder in his corner. Very experienced corner crew. Very experienced amateur fighter here. Both guys are very close in all attributes. Fireworks about to happen here. It's going to be a good fight. Both guys 29. Both guys 3 0. Some good movement early on for both guys. Tyson looking to use some punches to close the distance quiz quick with success. He's got a strong underhook. He, he set up a good trip, which Robertson defended well. But Tyson used it to come out the back, and now he has a successful back take. He's working his way to mount. He needs to keep that wrist ride. Tyson looking to land some big shots, and they're landing hard. He, can, he needs to get both of his arms under his opponent's arms. There you go, good, and focus on the position. This choke, this choke is dangerous. 
Tyson's in a good position. He's got his hands connected. He's got that short arm rear naked choke. He needs to focus on getting his right elbow back to his shoulder if that choke's legit. Position is key right here. Tyson needs to pick his shots and make him count from mount. He needs to pick him. And he's landing him successfully there. This is the time. Really good top control from Tyson. He's to keep his chest low. Keep his chest low to stop the guy from coming over the top of his shoulders. He's doing a good job. He spun his opponent away from the cage. Tyson's doing a good job doing some good damage while he's in mount. He's landing flush shots. This ref will stop it. Two more punches and this ref's stopping it. Okay, Robertson did a good job of, of keeping himself clear for a minute. Tyson's doing a good job. This ref's got to stop this fight soon. Another flush right hand and, it, and it's got to be over. And a good TKO there by Tyson in the beginning. So that was a, a, a rare one, you know. That's, that's a fight he started strong. And I think had Robertson made it at first, Tyson would have to reconsider his game plan and, and slow things down. But he had that dominant position. He went to work, and he saw he saw the time to finish. It was a quick win. That was a bold strategy, and it paid off for him. And that's what I love most about the sport. You know, extreme sport, extreme fans, awesome strategy. You know, that one that one paid off. He took a risk, and it, and it worked for him. You know, he looked great cutting to 85 for the first time. I trained quite a bit with Tyson as well for his fight. He did an awesome job. You know, and he just beat a guy who was undefeated. That was a big win. Sean Robertson. That was a good fight. Man, Robertson's wearing those punches well. I was we, I was about two feet from him when, when, when Tyson was landing those shots. And there were some big cracking right hands and left hands. And, and, and actually, Sean looks pretty well. He's got a, a good, 